episode 68. It's a big week. A lot of stuff to get into. So let's hit the timer. As always, three minutes, 30 seconds. So let me get into it because there's a lot to talk about this week. Uh, Under Armour conference call on October um, 31st at 8.30. So if you want to keep abreast of what's going on with Under Armour, they will be doing the conference call and talking about quarter three on October 31st. Keep that in your memory banks. You can go to the website right down below. Like I said, it's episode 68. I have to make sure I do something real quick. These things that I'm introducing to you, all of the articles are on the website, down below in the description, you can click a link and it'll take you to the article. So you can read the more in-depth information that I'm trying to give to you guys, man. Remember, I'm trying to make you smarter, make the sneaker world uh, much more, what word am I looking for? Um, a better place for us, man, as far as starting to get jobs in the industry, in marketing, in design. The more we know about the industry, man, the better off we're all going to be. We love sneakers, but we got to start making money from this stuff, right? So hopefully this stuff is helping you out. But um, next story, Under Armour conference call. We got that. Air Jordan fail. The Royal. I thought that with the fall releases of the Jordan brand shoes that we would start seeing a little bit of a return to being able to flip sneakers. Uh, it ain't happened. I was dead wrong. I picked the Royal one, the Flynet, to actually be better than the Royal uh, band one. And it's still available after a week and a half, almost two weeks. The Royal one is still available on Nike sneakers. It's still available. I thought it was going to go up to between $209 to $229.99 in resale. It did not. And that tells me one thing. They're readily available. Something's readily available. It's just not going to pop like that. Next story. I should have like something that flies across the screen. Uh, Armor Box. If you guys weren't keeping up, Under Armour did a lot of really good stuff in the last week or so, man. And I'm talking really, really good things for the brand. Um, they started a subscription service. And it's called Armor Box. So you can now quarterly get a box of Under Armour apparel. You put your information in and you get it. Now, they set theirs up in a different way than Adidas did Avenue A. Adidas Avenue A is for women only. Ar Under Armour's Armor Box is for men and women. It's a very cool thing if you're a person that doesn't like to get outside and go shopping. So check out that article. It's down below. I also put it over here on the side right here. I keep pointing that way. Wrong way. All right. Um... The second really cool thing Under Armour did in this past week, they dropped what was called the Sunrise to Sunset pack for the Drive 4. And that Drive 4 sold out. I think what Under Armour did was took a lot of feedback for their volleyball shoe and they incorporated design elements from the volleyball shoe into the Curry and into the Drive 4. So we have a really nice selection of sneakers that are dropping from Under Armour. And I think they are going to start regaining considerable ground. All right, now we got 23 seconds left, and I wanted to talk to you guys about this ASIC custom shoes in the microwave. You need to go and read that article. It's below. The last thing I want to get to, and I'm going to close out on this, is this past week, uh, you had analysts in Wall Street Journal and Bloomberg reporters all reporting that the Nike flash sale was unprecedented, that they'd never seen it before, and that blah, 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 blah. And I was like, dude, listen, until one of you reporters explains to me how Nike how their revenue remained flat after losing market share to Adidas. Then I'll listen to what you have to say. The flash sale is probably one of the best marketing opportunities and campaigns that Nike's come up with. Why? Because they are pulling people who have never shopped on the Nike.com.com platform to the Nike.com platform. People who would typically go to Amazon to shop are coming to Nike to buy the closeout clearance shoes. Think about that. It's something that's really detailed that I talked about in the article. Go down here below, click it, and read it. If you guys have any questions you want to send me, shoot me those questions. This is episode 68. Like I said, I'm having a lot of fun with these insider ties. Got some really cool work coming up that I want to share with you guys. But as for right now, that's it. That's the end of the episode. I went over to 3.30. Of course I did. And I'm around at 4.40 now. But I'm sure you appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys, new subscribers. Big ups. Thank you for really rocking with me. Let's grow it. Let's get smarter. Let's become the bosses. Peace.